sorry, but I actually just woke up. Huh? <laughs> what did you just say to me? We were supposed to meet you at four, right? Get your butt back here! You got 30 seconds! I had my work cut out for me. We had to leave, but getting Nagato to move when she's reading is impossible. First, I had to get her a library card so she could check out the book. Meanwhile, I had to ignore the incessant calls from Haruhi. Late! Penalty! In the end, we didn't find anything even remotely close to Phenomena. The day's activities were a waste of both my time and my money. Before we split up, though, Miss Asahina... I wanted to thank you for listening to my story today. ...whispered into my ear, which felt pretty good if I may say so. All right, spit it out. What were you doing today? Wait a minute, what about you? Were you able to find any of your mysterious phenomena today? <laughs> well, they wouldn't be careless enough to let you find them in one day, right? I mean, what did you expect, anyway? <laughs> we're gonna need to review your behavior on Monday. <laughs> and with that, she stormed off. <sighs> You're kidding me. The weekend was over, and I was sweating from all the humidity this morning. Oh, the rainy season. Haruhi walked in right before the final bell rang. Send me some of that breeze. You're on your own there. <sighs> hey, Suzumiya, ever happen to hear the story about the bluebird of happiness? What about it? Never mind, it doesn't have to do with anything. Then don't talk about it. After being showered from behind by Haruhi's aura of unpleasantness all day, I fled to the safety of the club room much like a rat running from a brush fire. There was someone I needed to talk to. Koizumi, don't you also have something you want to talk to me about regarding Suzumiya? <sighs> I get the feeling that the other two have already talked to you about her, am I right? Yeah. Well, how much do you know? Just that Suzumiya isn't your ordinary person. Good. That'll make my side of things easier, because that's definitely the case. How about you start by telling me who you really are? Well, as you might have already guessed, I'm what's called an Esper. It's best we call it that for now, okay? To tell you the truth, I wasn't planning on transferring into this school so suddenly, but the circumstances have changed. And I have to say that I really didn't expect the two of them to join up with Haruhi Suzumiya so quickly. Either way, I'm sure we're going to have the chance to talk more about all this later. A picture's worth a thousand words, they say, and I definitely have something to show you. But for now, I think I'll give you the short version. The organization that I belong to has other espers besides yours truly. Actually, the school's already been secretly infiltrated by a bunch of us agents, and ever since the organization started up three years ago, we've been watching over Miss Suzumiya. Three years ago, that's when something very interesting happened. And that is also when the powers I have now awakened inside me. How was Haruhi involved in whatever happened three years ago? You see... The elders in the organization believe that this world is sort of like a dream that a certain entity is showing us. Because it's all just a dream, it'd be quite easy for that entity to alter our reality. It could change it, destroy it, even create a new world. And we're pretty sure that we found that entity right here. You're saying that's Haruhi? For millennia, people have referred to such an entity as God or something similar. Well done, Haruhi. You got people calling you a god now. Just look at it this way for a moment. You got espers like me as well as beings like Mikuru Asahina and Yuki Nagato all hanging around in the same place. You think it's simply coincidence that we've all come together like this? It's all happening because Miss Suzumiya wished it. She wished for it three years ago. So are you saying that Haruhi remodeled the universe three years ago? Well, it would be more accurate to say that this world started three years ago. It's better than saying it was remodeled. Anyway, it's just a theory us espers have. Uh... Whatever. And just what do you Esper guys want to do with Haruhi? Listen, if this world upsets its god, it'd be destroyed and recreated in the blink of an eye. We want to prevent that from happening. I mean, I kind of like this place. Warts and all, you know? Why don't you just walk up to Haruhi and talk to her about it? Well, there are some members in the organization that think we should do just that. And others think that we should be more aggressive in stimulating her powers. Either way, most of us think that this is definitely not something that we can easily get involved with. The bottom line is that she doesn't yet realize her true potential. If that's the case, the organization feels it'd be best if she never finds out about her powers and lives happily ever after. You're gonna let sleeping gods lie, huh? Good way of putting it. You sure you guys aren't the ones dreaming this world up? I guess that's also a possibility. But as of right here, right now, we're simply acting on the worst of worst case scenarios that we can come up with. I got an idea. You're telling me you're an esper, right? If that's really the case, then show me your power. If you can do that, then I'll believe everything you've said to me. 
For starters, how about you try heating up this cup of coffee here? While that would be rather convenient, my powers aren't like that. In fact, most of the time, I don't have any powers at all. It's only when all sorts of conditions are present that I can actually use them. And like I said before, I believe I'll have the opportunity to show you in the near future. I do apologize for speaking for such a long time. Now excuse me, I think that's enough for today. See you tomorrow. <sighs> oh, by the way, <gasps> the biggest mystery is definitely you. I know it's kind of rude, but I did some checking up on you. I hope you don't mind it. I assure you that you are an ordinary human. I'm so sorry about that! Jeez, you don't have to do everything Haruhi tells you to do. For some reason, Haruhi never showed up to the club room that day. Next episode, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya.